right, people, even here, and let's do this. Let's go over Cedric McMillan versus Luke Sando battling it out for the third place at Arnold Classic Ohio 2019. And as you may know, the decision was Luke was better. Luke won against Cedric, he placed third, while Cedric took fourth place. And I just wanted to go over this one more time, because I wasn't sure about this. When I watched the pre-judging and the finals, I was pretty certain that Cedric is gonna take it. And if you watch my videos, you know that that was my prediction. But apparently I was wrong, and Luke turned out to be victorious in this comparison. And I just wanted to go over this one more time. So let's start with this first pose, it's front lat spread. And what do I see here? So the first thing that pops in my eyes is the stomach, the core. Basically, Cedric's stomach has a film of water, you can see that, definitely. It kind of looks like fat, but it's not fat. These guys don't have any fat on them, it's just water. While Luke has no water, he's dry as hell. If you look at the lads, definitely Cedric is uh, flaring them up way more. And also showing better arms, because his arms are just fuller and bigger. He is just genetically more superior in that region. If you look at the legs, again, same thing, I would say Cedric has better shape. Better, basically, genetics, you know? He has a longer muscle bellies and fuller legs. He doesn't have best cows, because it's pretty much known for black people, they don't have best cows. But overall, he has better genetics. And who do I give this pose to? I give it to Luke. Why? Because he was more defined. The conditioning. Yeah, he was drier. He was harder, much harder. For that reason, you know, you just have to win it. Let's go with the next pose. And this one... If you look at the Cedric, you can see some beautiful, beautiful lines, amazing structure, amazing genetics. Just look at those muscle bellies, this, those biceps and those triceps and shoulders and chest, very broad chest, and showing a little bit more of serratus than Luke. But if you look at the lower part of their body, you can see that Luke is showing much, much more details in the glutes and in the quads, so he is definitely edging him out with the conditioning. Same thing is happening with the chest and with everything, pretty much. But, yeah, you just can't give this pose to Cedric because of that, those glutes and the quads and everything, you know, because of the conditioning. Again, I have to give it a look. I have to do it because of the conditioning. Now let's proceed to the back double bicep. And in this one, it's pretty close. I mean, because a look has very, very thick back. Very, very thick back. And maybe it's not that thick, but because of his conditioning, it just looks very, very thick. And Cedric has beautiful structure, beautifully shaped glutes and uh, back as well. But he just has a lot of water on him. Look at the lower back and the glutes, it's just too much. Again, Luke wins it because of that. Same thing here, same thing. Look at the glutes, the lower back and basically overall back conditioning or the hardness. Luke takes it simply because of conditioning once again. And here we come to the side tricep. Just look at those triceps on Cedric. They are so huge. And he's showing some great width. And his chest is popping, looked crazy. And pretty much everything is just looking better. Better shape, better proportions. Everything is just amazing. But again, we come to the same thing as before, conditioning. Look at the details in shoulders, the hardness of the chest muscles, as well as hardness in glutes, hamstrings, quads. There is a film of water on Cedric, and for that reason, he pretty much loses Harry pose. But let's go with the next one, and here we can see abs and thighs, they both pretty much suck at it. They don't have those deeply separated abs. You can't really count them so easily. This is just a mess for both of them. But let's look at the quads then, and look at, the, look at Cedric's quad that is behind. That's his left quad. And look at Luke's left uh, quad. He doesn't show any detail. Maybe it's just the way he hit pose. Maybe the photographer didn't take it at the proper moment. But we can judge only what we can see. And for that reason, I give this pose to Cedric. So finally, Cedric wins one pose. And we get to the most muscular. And this one, I would also give to Cedric simply because of his structure. And he's also showing pretty good definition in this one. From the back, you can just see a lot of water. And in this pose, he, he, can, he can manage to hide his watery stomach with his arms. So for that reason, I give this one to Cedric, but it's pretty close. So Luke is still showing some crazy conditioning. We get to the front double bicep, and this one, in my opinion, goes to Luke very easily, simply because of that shredded is the dryness in the stomach region and the chest as well. 
but you know still Cedric has much more superior structure although because of the conditioning Luke wins it and that sums it up guys I mean that's all the poses and the point of this video is Cedric had better structure not by too much but it was a better structure for sure and it basically tells you how important conditioning is if you can see the muscle you cannot judge the muscle and that's it for this video guys tell me in the comment section below what do you think about this comparison and if you enjoyed this video like the video if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to my channel all the best bye bye